According to the Bible, the earth was created in six days. That it is on foundations does not move and has a firmament over it. The sun, moon and stars are all inside the firmament, with the moon giving off its own light. The Bible also says that God sits above the circle of the earth. The people below seem like grasshoppers to him. The earth is also not spinning according to the Bible. In Amos chapter 9 verse 6 it says he builds his lofty palace in the heavens and sets its foundation on the earth. In Genesis 1 verse 6 it said then God said let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. Can someone explain to me how I can currently see the moon and I can currently see the sun and somehow y'all want to convince me that we're on a globe and someone below us can also see one of them and the Bible definitely doesn't describe a heliocentric system. Ooh, we might have done it again. We may have solved a biblical mystery. And whether you're religious or not, this affects you too. If you would have told me even a year ago that I would one day be a flat earther, ooh, I would have laughed at you so hard. But over the past few months, my world has changed. My flat world. <laughs> As has the whole world itself in many, many ways. But if you haven't noticed lately, people are beginning to open their eyes. Fresh off the heels of accusations to NASA that they have been faking and fraudulently sharing videos of the ISS using green screens and harnesses and invisible wires to fake footage that is actually filmed in a pool, along with recent proof that the moon landing never happened. Buzz Aldrin himself has even said, hey, that didn't happen. We filmed it right here in a studio, safely with feet on the earth. Couple all of that with the six doppelganger of the seven deceased Challenger shuttle members who are out there living their best lives. Same faces, same names. Guys, the Bible states clearly there's a firmament above us, an impenetrable dome. In fact, it is so important, it is right there on page one of the Bible. God created a firmament above the earth to separate the waters from the waters, and he called the firmament heaven. So if there's an impenetrable dome above us, space travel is virtually impossible. Many believe that NASA was formed as a diversion to keep people from nosing around from Admiral Byrd's discovery down by the South Pole. Admiral Byrd discovered land, lots of land, undiscovered land, down by Antarctica. But sadly, after his television interview explaining this, Byrd passed away. A year later, NASA was formed. A year after that, the Antarctic Treaty was signed by all 12 countries, making exploration impossible. Well, that seems suspicious. Many believe that Antarctica is actually an ice wall, a total circumference around all of our continent, keeping waters of the oceans in place. There is not one single reference in the Bible that the Earth is round, but there are references to things such as, and I place the Earth on its foundation, you can't really put a foundation on a sphere. The four corners of Earth are mentioned multiple times. I don't care how many times I spin a tennis ball, I cannot find four corners on it. But oh, when I said, oh, I discovered something in Book of Enoch that just might clear all of this up and answer our questions right now. Chapter 27, God said to Enoch as he was explaining and describing how he created the Earth. And I commanded that there should be taken from light and darkness. And I said, be thick. And it became thus, and I spread it out with the light, and it became water. And I spread it out over the darkness, below the light. And then I made firm the waters, that is to say the bottomless, and I made foundation of light around the water, and created seven circles from inside. Hmm. And imagined the water like crystal, wet and dry, that is to say like glass. Well, I don't know about you, but that's a really good way to describe ice. Wet and dry water like glass. Chapter 28. And then I made firm the heavenly circle. I collected the sea in one place and bound it together with a yoke. And I said to the sea, behold, I give you your eternal limits and you shall not break loose from your component part. He clearly told Enoch. He made seven circles of ice to keep the waters of earth within. And I think now we have our answer. Guys, we need to pay attention. What's actually going on? NASA is in trouble for using movie props to make pictures of them pretending to be on the space station. Why are they doing that? Peer review is often described as one of the cornerstones of good science. The idea is simple. Before a scientific work is published, it is reviewed by at least two people from the same field and they decide if it is worth publishing. Peer review is widely seen as the thing that distinguishes science from pseudoscience. However, in reality things are no so simple and this simplified view can even be dangerous, because it can give pseudoscience credibility once it managed to slip through the peer review process. 
If you do not know how our ancient ancestors depicted the earth, then I suggest you stick around. Here is the Hebrew depiction. We have the firmament, the stars on the firmament, the waters above the firmament, and the heavens above the firmament. Here is the Hindu depiction. You have the turtle, which is our real calendar, holding up the earth with the firmament. Here is the Mayan depiction with the firmament. Here is the Egyptian depiction, the stars on the firmament, the earth. And uh, here's NASA. Yeah, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that this ain't real. Now let's take a look at Genesis 1-7 in the Bible. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. Well, isn't that interesting? Waters above the firmament and the heavens. Perhaps this explains why the sky is blue, waters above the firmament, and why we can see the moon in the daytime. It would also explain why Polaris the North Star stays fixed and stationary 24-7, 365 days of the year, and the other stars do circles around it. It's because the stars are moving and we are stationary. You guys ever hear of Werner von Braun, the guy who discovered NASA? Well, he's passed away now and he left an interesting Bible quote on his tombstone. Psalms 19.1, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament show us his handiwork. The truth is always in plain sight. This also explains why rainbows happen. Rainbows reflect off the firmament. And when you see a double rainbow, the colors are actually inverted. It's reflecting off something. Observation is the easiest way to find the truth. Bible there. Amen. Yeah, shit. Right. Let's do it. Okay. It is Sunday. Oh, you got it on video, I think. Oh. Is it oh, right? No, 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 no. Have you heard the earth's flat, though? Huh? Have you heard that the earth is flat? A uh, long time ago. It's in the Bible. Okay. Yeah. Revelation chapter 1. I'm sorry, Genesis chapter 1. Okay. Global warming. Monkeypox, evolution, dinosaurs. Dude, we are not getting our car juice from dinosaur grapes, man. Seriously, wake up. I'd wake up. I'll believe in griffins way before I believe in dinosaurs. I will believe in dragons way before I believe in dinosaurs. Why? Um, because our ancestors wrote tons of stories about them and stuff, so I, I, I trust them a lot more than the people, uh, these, these psychopathic, crazy people that are running the world right now. Dinosaur bones, <laughs> if you want to ask me my opinion, I would say probably made up to hide the giants and the dragons and maybe the griffins. And a hard giant, YouTube. We need to make sure people continue to be able to have access to their freedom of speech, their freedom of expression, the freedom of information. But recently, over the past few years, a whole bunch of people have decided that the world, the world is, flat. is flat. And they hang out with each other, and they find different ways of proving to themselves that the earth is, earth is flat. Now, that may not seem like a very serious thing, because someone who believes the earth is flat is not going to necessarily cause tremendous harm to everyone else. But the ability to start to believe something that simply isn't true actually starts creating real problems and can bring, bring us as a society to very scary places.
20. 30. 